All right. We will start with dot, dot, dot. So, oh, Adam. Okay. Yes. Uh, after leaving the yard, you go back to Riddler HQ, uh, as your boss asked. Um, and we see you enter your studio space mm -hmm. here at, at Riddler's base. So what does this look like? What is the, what is your studio space uh, at Riddler HQ look like? What's the vibe? Uh, okay, so dot dot dot's studio space is kind of like a combo of like an actual artist space. So it's like, it's messy, it's got supplies everywhere, it's got drawings on the wall, like, like actual like, like bathroom style, like drew on the wall kind of drawings, as well as like taped up like blueprints and plans and just general like thought maps. Kind of um, like stacked over each other. Yeah, yeah, very collaged. Um, as and all, it's like part art studio, part like theater, like prop room slash warehouse. So there's just like old shit from from previous Riddler uh, escapades and crimes. So there's like a like a big just like light up question mark that gets reused fairly often. There's like a like a giant version of the puzzle box that Batman can fit in when he's like crunched. Um, perfectly bat sized. Perfectly bat sized. Um, we took a lot of diagnostics for that. So, yes. Cool. Um, yeah, and I'm imagining you probably have like uh, you probably have like some whiteboards or chalkboards around to, to doodle ideas um you know you you probably have like a drawing table uh there's probably like a couple of milk crates of like spray paint cans uh that are that are sort of stacked throughout the space um do you have any special way of entering uh so there's like the pedestrian door but uh adam like i think his like preferred way of getting in and out is through like an air vent that's like disguised or like it's not actually an air duct. It's just like a tunnel basically that goes around and inside and out the building. Um, so it, is it, it is it like a is like is it like a back service corridor that's like hidden behind something in the room that like flips out? Um, it's more. Uh. Yes, but you can't access it on the ground level. You have to actually like be able to like get up to like the like ceiling or like the top side of the the room. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So um, yeah, there we we see you sort of like um, let's say let's say there's like this grate in the ceiling, right? Um, mm -hmm. And you know we see it sort of swing open, and we see Adam swing down and land uh, on the uh, uh, on like the, the it's like a poured concrete floor, right of this room. Yeah. Um, and pretty much as soon as you enter, the door, the pedestrian door, uh, opens, <laughs> and in saunters your boss, the Riddler. Uh, dressed in a uh, a green blazer and green bowler, uh, and just sort of uh, twirling his question mark cane. Well, you certainly took your time today, Mister Bright. Yeah, I, I know. I told you uh, it was going to be like a direct fight to you, but I got caught up in some some personal life stuff. Um, just kind of got wrapped up in that for a second. Sorry mm -hmm. about that, boss. Well, make sure that your personal stuff doesn't interfere with your work, Mr. Bright. You know, I made you my art director because I think you have what it takes to succeed in this business. And, uh, I wouldn't want to see that go to waste because you have personal distractions. 
No, sir, uh, Mr. Enigma, sir. Of course not. Um, I understand. Um, Just keep uh, your eye on the question mark, Mr. Brait. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Good man. Um, so the amusement mile trophies should be all placed everywhere. All the riddle boxes should be good. Um, Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Now that all of those are in place, the only thing that we need is our first clue. We have to get that to the bats and set him on our, our fun little scavenger hunt that we've set up in Amusement Mile. Okay. Now, I have some ideas that, uh, that I've written down, and I'd like your artistic eye on these. Um, and the, the, the Riddler um, reaches into his breast pocket and pulls out this sheaf of... Uh, of it's just a disorganized mess of papers. Um, I I have realized in uh, in conceiving of this version of the Riddler that he's he's kind of Miles Braun from Glass Onion. Uh, Say less and words. So, And so, Adam, you are used to getting these sort of enigmatic scribblings from him that, like, he thinks are the most brilliant shit in the entire world, and you are like, what is this? What? This is chicken scratch. Yeah. So, uh, this is this is one of those moments, and he pulls out this sheaf of papers. Um, they, it looks like graph paper, that he's just like you know torn out of a spiral notebook um and it has doodles and like equations and diagrams and stuff scribbled all over it and, and just like um enigmatic phrases uh of of various sorts um is are they deliberately enigmatic or are they just nonsense you never know it's the riddler uh, and he he hands this sheaf of crumpled papers uh, to you, Adam, uh, and then sort of turns turns around uh, and starts uh, kind of uh, sort of like crosses his arms and he's kind of tapping his cane uh, against his chest and against various things in the room as he sort of like walks around and continues his uh, his exposition here, uh, saying to you. So this is the basis of the puzzle, but I, I need the theming. I need the panache. I need the pizzazz. I need what you do, Mr. Bright. I need your eye on this. We got to make this flashy. We got to make it dazzle. We got to make the bat really want to sink his little vampire fangs into this one. Um, he's a vampire, right? I'm pretty sure. So the theming here, we need... What? We have to follow the caper, of course. F stick with me here, okay. Mr. Bright. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm listening, yes. We have, to, we have to follow the caper, obviously. Uh, the themes here, the keys, the key themes. Innocence, confinement, and uh, of course there has to be some sort of implicit threat uh, underlying the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. you're, okay. you're starting to see how this works. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, so if we want innocent and creepy, I know this is not new, but we should probably keep incorporating the rhyme aspects, but maybe make it take more of almost like a nursery Rhyming rhyme aspect. Is good. Nur yes, that's exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking, Mr. Bright. You took the words right out of my mouth. Nursery okay, right. rhymes, children's yeah. Children's play. Mm -hmm. uh, take us back to uh, to to a place of a place of youth. Innocents are in danger here. The bat needs to know this if he can figure it out. Of course. Uh, oh, right. I, I will be going out to pick up our guest in just a bit. Uh, 
I think tomorrow or, or maybe the day after, uh, a little later this week. Does does Adam know who that is? That is a great question. Um, and I think we need a roll for it. Okay. So, um... Is that study? It, yeah, I, I would say you're probably studying your uh, your memory to see if uh, the Riddler mentioned this at any point. We're, we're just doing a straight fortune roll here. I got a so. six and a two. Okay, six. Uh, yeah, so you know exactly who who this is. You are you are in on the you are in on the plan here mm. with the Riddler. Um, so I present the question to the group. Um, what notable individual in Gotham? Uh, what notable individual's kid? is the Riddler planning to kidnap as the sort of centerpiece of this uh, or or end goal of this puzzle scavenger hunt that you've been setting up? Barbara Gordon. <laughs> Not a child. <laughs> yeah, no longer well, a, a, a minor. I, I, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think this is, I don't think this is necessarily a minor. Um, okay. You know, this, it, it's, it's, I, I don't want a little kid, I don't think, but like a no. teenager. Yeah. Or, but it, it could be older. In, in the um, words of Macros, you, you want a big boy or you want a little boy? <laughs> yeah. You know, like a like a medium boy. A medium I boy. Think one <laughs> thing that we do know to be true about the Riddler is he is a uh, he is a twit of many layers. Mm -hmm. He is an onion of twittiness. Um, this is thoroughly You're established. giving him so much credit. No, I mean, he's twit all the way down. Um, sort of a glass onion. It's he, just he, dumb. He, glass. It's just, it's just ah. hot. <laughs> um, and uh, I feel like uh, this is whatever this is. It's going to be personal as well. It's there's going to be a multiple layers here that he's doing. He is whoever he, the target is. It's not because the Riddler doesn't give a shit about real politics. He doesn't really care about anything other than proving that he's the specialist medium boy in the room. Yes. Yeah, a it's child, it's... a Rubik's cube child prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually very good. I feel like it has to be related to somebody who who like beat the Riddler in some right, fashion. Sure. So like if the Riddler Some sort was... of stupid petty puzzle. Yeah. So if the Rizzler, if the Riddler was like in a in a Rubik's Cube contest. And the hang on. child of the editor of the Gotham Times the crossword editor of yes. the Gotham Times. <laughs> the Gotham is it Gotham Gazette? That's sure, extremely good. That's yeah, very what's good. Gotham Gazette? The Ugh. Gotham Gazette. It's so okay. petty. So so like the, the crossword editor. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So like the, the, the Gotham City, the Gotham City will shorts, right? <laughs> um Bill Jorts. Bill Bill Jorts. Bill Jorts and daughter. Jill. Okay. Jill Jorts. <laughs> Jill Jorts. Jill Jorts. Jill Jorts. Jill Jorts. And Jill, and Jill, Jill Jorts. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Of the so, Jorts. <laughs> right. Bill Jorts. Bill Jorts, editor of the Gotham Gazette's crossword section, uh, which obviously has the Riddler's ire because there's one too many puzzles that he couldn't solve. Right. Mm -hmm, like there's mm -hmm. there's one too many. If you go, if you go to like whatever is his office in this base there's a stack of uh of newspapers there's a stack of like the gotham gazette um all turned to the crossword page uh and all like all completed except for like each of them is missing like like one to like four rows or cop like one to four words and the riddler's fucking pissed at this guy uh he 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 this like the only reason the only reason that this man bill jorts is not the riddler's number one nemesis is that he understands that batman that batman is out there 
and he knows that Batman is is extremely clever. I, mm-hmm. but Bill George is the real hero that Gotham needs. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bill George, <laughs> we've Bill we've now established this new canon with the Riddler. Bill George has been fucking with the Riddler, unbeknownst to Bill George. Oh my God, years. he's my hero. He's my hero. <laughs> I years. love. I love him. I can't believe we okay, invented so, Bill George. So, so Jillian, Jillian Jorts, aka JJ, is the target of the kidnapping, uh, and and you are you are well aware of all this. Dot dot dot. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Great. Um. Oh, uh, so picking likely picking up the intended guest tomorrow. Tomorrow should work. Uh... You know, I, I've had uh, I, I've had some of our people following her. Uh, we have her class scheduled down, her comings and goings. Shouldn't be too difficult to get a hold of her. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, when the timing lines up, but we'll have her in a day or two, no problem. Um, and dot dot dot. I just flipped through the papers. I think I understand a lot of what's being put down here. Um, Good, that's why I promoted you, Mr. Brait. Uh, can I just ask real quick, um, and it just turns the papers, or, like the little doodles around, is this is this a horse or a car? I need to know. Uh, and the, the Riddler, completely straight-faced, uh, uh, turns to you uh taps you uh twice on on the chest with his question mark cane and says ah yes mr Brait. and that that is the key to the entire thing and he turns on his heel and Sorry. walks out oh <laughs> okay so great cool I'm going to kill him. Thank you, Mr. Nigma, sir. Oh, God. Okay. Putting the horse back in horse power. <laughs> really putting the horse before the car there. Uh. Uh, yeah, and that's and that's where that's where Guys, we leave Adam. We're starting just... to beat a cyborg horse. I'm going to be iterating please, on this. Please, please, please rein it in. Oh, cute. oh my god no to this we all say nay uh, and adam that is where we leave you standing in the middle of your studio with this uh largely incomprehensible sheaf of papers and a a new directive from your boss it be- it behooves me <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh yeah um, we're just trotting these horse puns out one after another. Um, we're off to the races. Yeah. So, Ed, let's let's go over to Ed. Get out of horse pun land. <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the main the main storyline, please. <laughs> yes, Ed. Ed. Uh, all right. So, Ed, um, we we rejoin you, um. Uh, I think a little bit after uh, everybody has has sort of booked it from from the yard, um, you um, you're all set to to reconvene. Uh, what 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 was the timeline on reconvening? Was it the next day or the day after? What did we decide? It would have been. I, we said the next day. We said tomorrow. Day. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So everybody has until. Uh, until tomorrow afternoon, let's say, to uh, to do whatever it is you need to do to prep for this upcoming heist. Um, so anybody you need to talk to, um, any anything that you need to acquire, um, and Ed, you actually have now a couple of projects going um, already from last time. So um, your your first project is um, 
you are trying to make a set of uh, basilisk defeating goggles. You have an idea for some kind of, of goggle or spectacle or or something of that nature. Scrambler specs. Scrambler specs. Write that down. Uh, it sounds like something you would order at a Gracie Diner. Uh, it it is actually based off of Ed's favorite dish at the local time. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, so you're you're trying to get these these scrambler specs together, um, and you have a, a basic theory, uh, which is your your you have one out of four segments on the project clock for this film. So that gives you the basic theory of these things, um, which is you um, you know looking at the basilisk image kills you. Uh, or paralyzes you, depending on the image, or may cause other effects, as yet unknown. Um, and you think, based on your time doing the software engineering on these things to take them apart and put them back together, um, that if you filter out um, certain colors, certain frequencies of light, uh, somebody looking at the basilisk would not theoretically experience the effects of the of the image um hey. so that's that's project one uh, again that's a that's a one segment out of four your second project that you're working on is um you are trying to locate the identity of riddler's buyer the person who is buying the basilisk material off of riddler and you're attempting to do it uh via a a cryptocurrency trace uh so you're hacking the blockchain um, i'm surfing the blockchain to the moon yeah straight to the moon for ed uh uh, we did establish that the the cryptocurrency in question is called Riddle Me Bits. Why didn't I pick uh, Bane? Why didn't I just pick Bane? <laughs> <laughs> you had the You're opportunity, welcome, universe. and You're this welcome. is your You've given fault. It up. This is my fault. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, you can you can always pick Bane for next season. That's an option. But for now, you're fucking stuck. So. Uh, yeah, you Ed, you you're working on this crypto trace, and you haven't had a, a great time of it thus far. Um, this is an eight clock because it is notably complicated, and you have filled zero segments of that clock, unfortunately. So, those are your two projects. Um, is there anything that you want to do to advance either of those um, before everybody reconvenes tomorrow? Is there anybody that you feel like Ed needs to have a chat with? What are we What are we doing with Ed? So um, I think that after his first very unsuccessful attempt, um, you know, going the blockchain route, I think Ed probably got kicked out of you know, like the Bored Ape Yacht Club, like Crypto Cats, you know, he's banned on a shit ton of Discord servers now. <laughs> um, I Remember think... Uh, Discord? Uh, yeah, yeah. What's um, Ed's Discord handle? Oh, shit. Um, this is very important. This is very oh, important. no. Uh, honestly, it's, it's probably just his full name. <laughs> what? God damn it! <laughs> I thought you were gonna say dad. I was thinking there was gonna be an Ed, Ed, and Eddie joke in here somewhere. Oh, nope, no. Nah. Why wouldn't I use my full name? <laughs> it's it's a good name. It's a strong name. I, I, I it is incumbent on me to remind you and everybody that a key part of Ed's backstory. <laughs> Is that he was a cybersecurity expert <laughs> in the GCPD? This explains that so much, like actually. <laughs> so it's different. Well, hiding in Fair. plain it was, sight. It was a while ago. Hiding, it's called hiding in plain sight, okay? Okay, great. Um, so. So, so think... Ed's Discord handle is, uh, and Ed's Ed's actual Ed's uh, actual name is Claude. Yes. yes. So Ed's Discord handle is. 
Claude, Claude Shannon. Claude One Shannon. Word. Yep. Tremendous. I did not know this. The fuck? Okay, so Ed, um, are yeah, you... No I'm working on the Scrambler goggles. I think, uh, yeah. you know, having a purpose and like um, like a goal is actually... It hasn't been doing so hot. So this is... Uh, Ed's got like a little little pep in his step. He's whistling. Um, he's listened to the, you know, the Dire Straits, Sultan's a Swing, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, he's gonna work on the Scrambler goggles. Um... And I think he's also going to send a text to Selena and be like, got out of the house. Uh, you will write, you know, it was good to see friends, maybe have a job. And then every single one of the cat emojis um, available to him. Great. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, there, there's a uh, dot, 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 and then whoop. Uh, a text back from Selena saying, proud of you. Uh, and it has the cat emoji, the cat face with the hard eyes. Yay. <laughs> uh, um, uh, I think Ed is briefly overcome with emotion. Um, <laughs> as the <laughs> Selena is the one child remaining that will still talk to him and even text him or have a relationship with him. So this is great for him. Um, so, yeah, I think Ed's going to get to work on those scrambler goggles. Um, and, you know, he's thinking 3D glasses. He's thinking glasses, glasses. Um, and then I think he knows exactly who to call. Um, mm. He is going to... Does, I'll have a way of being reached. Like I, like I know yeah, there was we, we a burner phone. At least phone. have right. We we know that at least one burner phone was in play to get in touch with the Meg. Oh no, we actually have two. We have two established phones for Ollie. all of them. All one of burner them for the Meg. One for uh, activating the firebomb. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're all they're all toast. Uh, those, yeah, those those are gone. Um, no, if okay. one wants to get a hold of Ollie, one um, uh, sends a message to their beeper. Because Tremendous. you can't Great. track a beeper, I don't think. Hey, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, so Ed's gonna... Um, yeah, classic, classic ex- 90s drug dealer. Yes. Uh, um, yes, Ed is going to text Ollie's beeper, um, and it's gonna go roughly like, hey... A uh, smiley face with sunglasses emoji was wondering if I could <laughs> pay a visit to the sunglass hut. LOL, get it? Because you're staying in a hut and you wear sunglasses. Anyway. Ed! <laughs> message me back. Love you. Bye. Um. Now, okay, Here, here's here's something. Is it possible to send a text to a beeper? Modern pagers, yes, but okay. most of them like but this is not that kind of pager. So I think this is a string <laughs> of just absolutely incomprehensible like um I, I forget the name for the code that tr- makes um, uh, each emoji is Unicode. technically a code, Unicode. Unicode. Um and uh, so it's just a string of Unicode followed by uh, Ed's message. Um, I think that like Ollie's is pro- pager is probably advanced enough for that. And then um, Ollie uh, pops open a uh, bright pink, heavily bedazzled uh, Motorola Razor circa 2011, roughly. Um, and just the coolest uh, phone that you could possibly get in 2011. <laughs> Actually, I, I would say that was the coolest phone you could possibly get in like 2008. Yeah. About. Yeah. Well, yeah, flip yeah. phones are back now for reasons that. For reasons. Um, um, and Ollie just uh, kind right. of, uh, types in the types in Ed's number. Uh, and waits for it to ring. Uh, do, do, do you do you pick up your phone, Ed? Yeah, obviously. Okay. Hello. Uh, what? What what do you what, what do you need, Ed? Oh, uh, did you get my my my? Did you get my text? Uh, yeah. Emojis still don't work. 
Still oh. not a thing. Right. Right. No, right. you're very excited right. to learn new things, but um, still don't. That, that that doesn't work for me. Right. No. Totally. Sorry. Um, sunglasses. You have a lot of them. Can I, um, peruse your collection? And 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 I have something in return for you. Yeah. Um. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Come down to the yard. Um. I'm here. Okay. Uh, great. Just, yeah. Um. I'm. I'm not going to be here all day though. So you should come sooner rather than later. I, I'll. I'll. I'll be right. I'll be right there. The cops are gone, right? Cops. Currently, yes. No cops. Okay. Great. Well. All right. See you soon. Love you. Bye. <laughs> um, Ollie flips the phone shut. <laughs> oh, my dad. Uh, yeah, we we just see, like what, what's what's the what's the expression on Ollie's face as you as you flip the phone shut after Ed has just said love you. Bye. Yeah, we we just hold on this uh, uh, on Ollie, you know, both just, bemused and emotional and lightly yeah, horrified. Right? Yeah, uh, and we cut back to, uh, or rather, we cut to Ed uh, entering the yard um, uh, a little later. Um, Ed, what what time of day are you coming in i mean i you you don't really have much in the way of options because we, we've established you do have the meeting in the afternoon so right um, uh so probably mid-morning okay so not not like super super early but like mid mid morning yeah okay. i would say um this is this is early this is early in the morning for ed in his current reality <laughs> Okay. Okay. Ed, yeah. Ed. Ed seems to have been making a lot of early morning uh, calls lately uh, on on his friends. Uh, so Ed, you uh, we see you walking into the yard um, as as you enter. Um, Scraps is uh, is is out uh, in front of the the, the big like hangar garage. He's got a car rolled out there that he's working on. Um, he's underneath it you know laying down on his back on um on one of the mechanic skateboards that garage uh, creeper the garage creeper yeah that i never remember the name of even though i keep asking what it is on stream and have <laughs> on several occasions um yeah so so scraps uh pushes out from from underneath uh this uh this vehicle and you know he's he's sort of in um like kind of a, a bundled up coverall against the the cold of this January morning, uh, and, and he uh, he waves he waves at you, Ed. Oh, hey, Ed, you're back hey. so soon. I sure, sure am. I know, right? You Two know, visits in one week. This is the most I've seen of you since, um, well, probably ever. Well, uh, you know, it's a new year. I'm turning over a new leaf. Uh, my kid keeps telling me I got to get out of the house more. So, you know, see friends, talk to people. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. So, uh, y'all took that job, huh? Um, well, yes. Um, it was an offer that could not be refused. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. For many reasons. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'll let you get to your scheming or uh, whatever it is you're doing. Uh, I'm assuming you're gonna want to talk to Ollie. Uh, they're out uh, over there near the uh, near the smaller garage. Thanks, and uh, take care of yourself. Yeah, you too, Ed. Uh, and he scoots back under. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna scoot over to over to Ollie's zone. Yeah, so uh, Ollie, where where in the yard do we find you? I uh, Ollie is in one of the um, larger 
or the one of the smaller, sorry, smaller Quonset style garages that has uh, had a lot of the panels replaced with um, like basically like skylights that have been made out of um, car doors um, and is working on a vehicle that's largely covered up by like just kind of drop cloths, uh, but seems to be like the m- mostly bare bones, um, like clearly not a lot of vehicle left um from what it started out as and is uh kind of tinkering around with an engine um and they see ed coming and uh wipe their hands off holly hello good morning good morning ed it's like nine isn't this a little early for you yeah well, you know, I'm turning over a new leaf. <laughs> Get it? Leaves. Yeah, um, yeah, I got it, Ed. I, I, uh, I got you a, a, a gift. Well, sort of for you, you know. Uh, but, um, so Ed holds out a bag, um, a bag from Gotham Home Depot. Um, no, no. Yeah, not. we we need. <laughs> what's what's the name of Gotham's Home Depot? And it cannot be Gotham Depot. The, it's the place where you pick up goths. The Goth Depot. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's that's like Gotham's you know hot topic equivalent. <laughs> Wayne right? Depot. Wayne Depot. No, it's it's. I'm, so I am writing down one of the, the one of the Boy. crime families, right? Oh yeah, like Falcone Depot. Falcone have... Depot. <laughs> no, they have, they have the trucking companies though. We've established there they got all the they trucking. Have, they have it's got to be um, um, yes. um like Mar- Maretti. Maroni. Ah yes, the fictional the fictional one that starts with M, not the one, re- yeah. not yeah, the yeah, real not crime the real one. <laughs> No, yeah, okay. The, yeah, the, the big ones are, are the the Falcones uh, or Falcone. Did we ever establish this? What's Everyone actual... pronounces it differently. They okay, really do, though. I, Every, I in like... everything I've ever seen, everyone pronounces it differently. All right, because I feel like we've gone back and forth on this in the past. You're not alone. And I know the that I've seen... The canon does it, too. Yeah, I know that I've seen things where it's both. I think, I feel like the Italian pronunciation would have... The the e at the end, you would pronounce the e. I think right? like I think Falcone. in Italian it's Falcone. Yeah, like Falcone. Hey, Falcone. Yeah. Yeah. Falcone. Okay, so Falcone. Oh so like Falcone uh, or Falcone and uh, Maroni. Falcone. Falcone Depot. Marone Depot. Moron Depot. Mo- Moron yeah. Depot. Yes. And there we are. Which which okay? Which of those do we like? <laughs> Clearly, Moron Depot. Moron okay, Depot. Great. Moron. That's yeah, what, that's what the locals call it. It is yeah, what the Moron, locals call it. Okay, great. Moron you can't take Depot. Jackie there. <laughs> Godspeed to the rest of you. Yeah, ja- Yeah, that that would that would not be a good be, spot for Jackie. Mm, it would be. Nah, okay, don't worry about so it. Maroon Depot, the correct pronunciation, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So you, you um, you've hit up Maroon Depot. <laughs> Yeah, I hold out a uh, Maroon Depot bag and um, I'm going to wrestle with it for a second, pull out this giant ass box of <laughs> of Miracle Girl. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I heard the uh, heard Ivy. I mean, obvi- I mean, I know, obviously, Ivy ain't doing too good. And, you know, this is supposed to be really good for plants. Um, oh, and I got this other thing and he pulls out uh, one of those bottles that has like a little metal ball in it, you know, so. <laughs> like a <laughs> hamster drinks from? No, 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 no. <laughs> like it's one of those bottles. Oh, 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 like, 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 a, like, like, what, like a smoothie mixer. An agitator. Yeah, like a little like ball. wire. Yeah. It's called, yeah. It's yeah, called yeah, an yeah. agitator. No, yeah. I think you're onto something. <laughs> a hamster bottle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You say a so, bottle with a metal ball in it. That's the first thing I think of. <laughs> Sorry. 
Okay, yeah, so, right, you, you have one of those smoothie shakers. Uh, so, um, and he thrusts it towards Ollie. Uh, but, yeah, so, I just thought that maybe, uh, I don't know if you've, I don't, I mean, stupid, this is probably the first thing you tried, right? Like, but I, I thought maybe. I promise you, this is not the first thing we tried, Ed. Well, maybe it'll work then, yeah, like. You know. I'll ask the doc. I'll ask the doc. I'm sure she's gonna appreciate um, it either way. Is is Ivy there? Is Ivy present here, or is is she elsewhere in the yard at this time? Yeah, I think she's right around the corner from this conversation. It feels like <laughs> she's right around the corner from the, like so. The it doesn't we're on have the, the best spatial awareness, situational awareness. So, like. I, I think that like the camera could see her scene. there the whole time, but Ed can't from his angle. Um, so yeah, we're on the uh, what, what? We're on the uh, east side of the yard. Yeah, by these so uh, what, two. What is what is she doing? I think she's just getting some sun. I think she's like mm. lounged out in like a, uh, a, a like one of the nice scoop bucket seat chairs from a from like a sports car that's okay been like, like something that, that you have taken out of the car that you're you're actively like working yeah. on yeah yeah i don't know do you do we think it, yeah probably it's what that from what i'm actively working on it's clearly high end maybe maybe you've taken out like the um like the back bench seat of of a car Right. Mm. And, you, and, and that's like on the side and she's kind of like uh, she's sunbathing on that. Right. She's like trying to reactivate her. her it's, it's January and she's just out here trying to catch some rays. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, I think I think we see her like I'm imagining um, I'm imagining like she's out there in the cold uh, in like a green bikini uh, with like a big floppy sun hat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Middle of winter. Uh, and, and may, you know, maybe, Ed, you couldn't see her because uh, she's got like one of those um, tanning, like reflector fold outs, you know, like the shiny, the shiny thing. And she she's just like shiny trying balls. to bake herself. <laughs> Uh, essentially, uh, and and get any scrap of sunlight that she can. Um, Ollie, she's been doing this a lot since she sort of recovered enough to to be up and about, mm. right? And it's hanging out in the cold, and also Gotham, where it's never sunny. Doesn't matter what time. Of, uh, the only yeah, time right. it's like it's, not cloudy it's is cold, at night. It's overcast. <laughs> uh this morning but she's she's trying her damnedest so maybe that's why you you didn't quite i, I feel like that little and, the little aloe plant is is uh just hanging out there yes yeah so she she's sort of like uh she she's got the the maybe she has like a little table next to her with like a drink on it right she has it's like, uh, uh no it's it's uh it's three stack car rims yes great yeah she's got three stacked uh, rims and on top of that there's like a cracked mug from the you know the the kitchen the, the little kitchen area in like the hangar garage right and uh the the little aloe plant that jackie brought uh perched perched next to it keeping her company um and she so she sort of flips down the the reflector uh and ed you hear from from behind you uh, in a, an area that you you didn't quite see before. Oh, Ed, that's so sweet of you. Oh. Thanks. Oh, it's it's um, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Uh, you know, I just um, you know, Ollie, they're just uh, really worried about you, and and I know, like you know, with everything, I just uh, you know, they just you know, I, I really. I just really wanted to do something, you know, for that might that might help you and um you know, they're just really they're just really really concerned and I, and I um I always I just, steps really hard on your heel. 
It's extremely oh. thoughtful of you, Ed. Uh, and she takes the the miracle grow box um, and uh, and sort of looks at the the little shaker uh, uh, bottle uh, and says, "I'll drink the whole thing." I well, promise. I'm right. I just, however, I don't know if you like can like make roots or something like like uh somebody once uh told me that like they saw you like become a tree like you sort of transformed into this tree thing and i don't know if like you could do that like and that's how you suck it up or like i don't know like maybe if you just like put your feet into like potted you know like maybe you need to be repotted or something always steps on ed's heel again (laughs) anyway I wish I could, Ed. I'll try my best. Thanks. You just keep doing what you're doing. And uh, I, I wanna, I wanna add the detail that in, in addition to her, her like green bikini, um, and sun hat, she definitely has like a scarf, and like, b- like big fur lined boots. <laughs> Uggs? Is she wearing? No, she's too classy for Uggs. Don't put uh, that. On... Don't put that on Poison Ivy. It, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be Uggs, but it, it's like you know she <laughs> she's wearing she's wearing like a bikini scarf and and fur boots. Fur lined Crocs. Um, oh, no, and... <laughs> crime. Uh, and uh, and she uh, she sets the the miracle grow and the the little bottle down on her little rim table, uh, and uh, and sort of uh, adjusts her scarf, crosses her uh, her legs, uh, laying out on the on the couch uh, with the with the boots, uh, and uh, flips the reflector back up. So, uh, sunglasses. Yeah, so how m- you need sunglasses? How many sunglasses you need? Well, how many you got? <laughs> I got a lot. Like, I don't know if you have the fancy ones with the polarizing, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, come on. The- and uh, Ollie starts uh, weaving there. It, like, kind of goes... Uh, past Ivy and um, into like this section of like this kind of crowded canyony, like weaving stacks of cars and then eventually uh, pulls up to this one large stack. Um, and you can see that um, kind of hidden underneath all the vehicles, there's two shipping containers that have been like kind of uh, jammed together and there's a keypad on the door and um and like uh and Ollie just puts in like a 20 digit string of numbers like beep boop boop beep boop boop beep 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 um and then there's a little chunk and the door opens and uh and then just like all right knock yourself out or don't don't knock yourself out uh Ollie when when you sort of uh you know when you do the keypad and, and we hear the door like like clunk, uh, and you it, it's, it's like a does it swing out? Does it slide? Uh, I uh, yeah, it swings out. Okay, and you and you swing it out. Um, what do we see? What's the what's the space that we see in here? It's very very dark. Um, it is the interior of a shipping container. I think in like the dim light, we can kind of see like uh, the the like the wire like or that not the not the wire mesh, but the heavy metal storage shelves. Like okay. this, this little container is slam packed, um, and you can see on one side there's a hole that's been cut between the two containers to kind of form like two room, two big rooms, um, and there, there's just like the glimmering of sunglasses everywhere. Yeah, yeah, the the thin January overcast morning light. Just just catches the the sort of edges of of the sunglasses. We we get like a like a fucking anime ass. Like you open the door and the light sort of slides across the the lenses of all these sunglasses. 
Yeah, just like piles, boxes, you know, like the little hardware store bins, yep. uh, like a ton of them just hanging on things like hooked over. Um, look, just you can kind of take oh, whatever man, you want. I don't know if this is going to be enough. <laughs> You need you need more than like, I don't know, five or six thousand pairs of sunglasses, Ed. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh no, I'm I'm just I'm I'm just well, I'm just messing. This is great. Um and uh Ed's gonna kinda get get to digging um through yeah. the sunglasses. Um cool. and I think as he does, um uh he's gonna just kinda nonchalantly be like, so um you uh, talk to Ivy yet? You know, solar, anything? You know that uh, we're gonna be on a job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna brief her since we could be gone for a little bit if things go sour. Oh yeah. Well, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Um, oh, but, uh, what? Uh, what did you mean, Ed? What? What did you mean? Holly, look, um, and Ed's like gesturing <laughs> in a very Italian, you know, talking with uh, his hands, um, gesturing with like the sunglasses, you know, he's kind of holding up and deciding between, look, if there's one thing I regret, it's not telling people I cared about that I cared about them when I had the chance, you know? You just don't know when that chance is going to be taken from you. Been around the block a couple times, and I know, um, I know when I see who people that really care for each other. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I grew up on that block too, Ed. Don't forget. I, I know. Um, I, I'll tell her when she needs to know. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm scared. I mean, it's scary. I get it. But just think, I just think that maybe the response might be better than you think. I don't know. Just all Ed. Just running, running his mouth. Uh, how about these sunglasses? Yeah, um, the sunglasses. Yeah, so just you can kind of take whatever you want, and um, just uh, there's a couple sentimental ones and some valuable ones. So just run them by me before you scoot. But oh. yeah, I'll yeah. look. I'll I'll think on it. Ed, uh, I I hear you. That's that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. And Ed, this whole time, you know, I, I think you you've paused in your in your pawing through the sunglasses, um, but you reach down and you grab another pair, and let's get a roll to see what you've found. Um, all right. So, what am I? Uh... Um. So you're you're sort of searching through for some very particular tint and polarization combo that will that will filter out the specific parts of of the basilisk image, right? Uh, this is sort of like the the raw material that you need to start making these uh, scrambler specs. Um, I think I think we are looking at I'm trying to decide if it's insight or study for fortune roll. It's either it's either sort it's of like the same that. So Yeah. Okay. Um so yeah, you're you're either you're either like studying uh you're either studying this uh this room 
right as you paw through the boxes or um, you are sort of like using your your broader insight to deduce you know I like I like insight because it covers both study and tinker which is like the uh, which is like sort of the combo of what you're doing. Let's say insight. So you're, you're right. gonna roll, this is a fortune roll with your insight stat. <laughs> Big numbies. Um, damn, that's a five, a one, and a one. Okay, so uh, five is the highest mixed success. So you're gonna fill one more, uh, one more segment on this clock. Um, and I think what you what you come up with, Ed, is uh, you you're holding you know as you're as you're finishing this conversation with Ali, you sort of reach down, you grab a pair of sunglasses, kind of hold it up to the uh, to the sunlight uh, coming through the door of the cargo container, and uh, this this looks promising. Um, you're going to have to treat this somehow but this it it's it seems like it's probably filtering out the right wavelengths of light that you that you want because you still have you still have a bit of work to do you're gonna have to uh tinker with these lenses a bit more to to kind of get them into the right shape and with the exact right filtration properties and you need to like mount them in some fashion uh for for somebody to use but you found what you needed Great. Awesome. Um, uh, I'm going to hold them up to uh, Ollie. And can I uh, can I take these? These good? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I think I might have like a few more of those. That's what you. It was like this weird. Oh, God, these guys, they all dressed the fucking same. And they wore the same shit, and they had like this whole shtick. Um, I, uh, I don't, the, I don't actually have like them. The people in Gal, uh, Gal Gotham. Yeah, um, I mean, I guess. No, yeah, I mean, I'll take as many as you got. Um, I, um uh, Ollie's just it like it was a mm. catering company. You got these from the party down guys. <laughs> the party. <laughs> they all dressed the same. It's just just beat a bunch of bunch of catering people um yeah i i think i got like three or four more hold, hold on um and uh ollie rummages around for a little bit and like just uh, jams a few more into your hands all right awesome thanks and uh he's gonna take one of the sunglasses and bonk uh ollie lightly on the forehead with them and be like and you know think about think about what i said Life's uh, life's too short, it's best, especially in this um, hell of a city. So, I'll yeah. see you around. It sure is. I'll, I'll see you see later. You. Today. Oh yeah, I'll see you this afternoon. Oh. All right, and Ed, you uh, you dump all of your newly acquired sunglasses into like a plastic shopping bag. Um, actually, it's it's probably the same plastic bag that you got from uh from Marone Depot. Marone Depot, right? Um <laughs> and we see you uh heading out of the yard. Um I think as you do um you know scraps uh is is uh coming back across the yard from the other direction gives you another wave uh as you as you walk through the gates. Um and is uh, going to uh, wheel up to um, the the open door of the shipping container and and like intercepts you, Ollie, as you uh, as you come out. Um, Ed, get what he need. Yeah, a bunch of really tacky sunglasses from years ago. All right, I. Cannot even begin to imagine how that helps whatever job you've got going. But, uh, hey, you got what he needed? More power to him. I'm not sure I could explain it to you if, you know, I wanted to, so. Uh, do not, please. The less I know, the better. GCPD rolls up in here again. I want to be able to tell him I don't know a damn thing about what you're doing. 
Yeah, that's fair. What you want? All right, this is about the job, though. I don't want to know what you're doing, but that kid Jimenez rolled in here. He came in hot. He had a lot going on. Obviously, he's roped you into it. I want yeah. you to make me a promise that whatever the two of you or the four of you are up to now, you're going to look out for that kid. Yeah, no, I, I, that's part of why I'm doing it. All right, good. You, you got a couple of years on him. Uh, hey, don't worry, you wear it well. Not like this old hunk of junk, and he points at himself. But you got more experience here. And this whole world that the two of you got yourselves wrapped up in, well, I don't have to tell you it's dangerous. And you know much more about it than Adam does. Yeah. So whatever you got going on when you're in there, when you're on this job, you gotta promise me you're gonna watch his back. You gotta promise me that things go south, you get him out of there. And uh, Ollie just uh, puts a hand on his, uh, down on his shoulder and just says, I promise I'm not gonna... I'm not, I'm gonna make sure he comes home in one piece. All right, that's all I need to hear. Hey, you talk to your girlfriend? Hmm. Uh, not currently you told her dating about anybody. What you to? Still not currently dating anybody. Oh no! Um, and he looks over uh, towards the. Uh, the, the improvised uh, uh, super grow house Quonset hut that you've set up. Uh, yeah, it could have fooled me, kid. I am going to handcuff you to your bed if you keep saying some senile shit, old man. <laughs> hey, listen, if, uh, if I get the chance to get your goat, kid, I'll saw my own hand off to get out of those handcuffs. Wow, wow. I did. Why I stick around? Fucking mystery. Oh, you stick around because I am incredibly charming and you love my company. Yeah, well, also, two stroke would probably, I don't know, eat you if I wasn't around. Oh, two stroke's gonna eat me someday or other. That's the exit plan, kid. <laughs> And I do not begrudge that cat a single bite. <laughs> You're gonna have to tell her something sooner or later, kiddo. And he gives you uh, a, a sort of a, a playful, you know, where, where you have your, your hand on his shoulder. He gives you a sort of like playful little, little punch to the forearm. And uh, he'll, he'll wheel around and, and, and head off. Unless you have anything else that you want nope. to say to him. I think Ollie is just like real. Uh, but uh, Ollie's, Ollie's being attacked from all sides. Yeah, everybody's really on Ollie's case today, huh? Yeah, it's just like, what what, hey, what the fuck did I do? To... It's refreshing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, Ed, Ed and Scraps are your, um, are your, your two dads who fucking really just want you to tell this girl that you like her like her. Just ask her out. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I think Ollie finishes locking up and then uh, is going to stalk back to what it, to what they were doing. Yeah. Uh, so and we'll, we'll leave. Ed, that's a plant emoji and a heart emoji and a sunglasses emoji. <laughs> uh, I think Ollie feels the phone buzz, flips it open. Flips it closed, yeets it into yeets it into uh, one of the piles of cars. Yeah, and we just we just hear a bonk, uh, <laughs> and that's that's where we'll leave Ollie. Jackie. Yeah. Where do we find you in the the time in between leaving the yard? Uh, yeah. When the cops showed up and uh when you've got to meet the rest of the crew 
um, in the <laughs> afternoon. I'm going to roll it back to uh, the the end of our meeting while we're skedaddling away from the cops, um, just to that evening. And um, Jackie is booking it uh, back home. I think, though, she's going to try an alternate route. Um, you know, she hasn't been just doing nothing these last three months. She's been uh, learning to use old skills in new ways. So she's going to try to vault herself up to one of the rooftops and try and parkour her way back. She's been mm. working on some things. Okay, yeah, you, you've been you've been practicing this. I've been practicing uh, this. Cool. All right. So it uh, sounds like you are going to maneuver your way uh, yeah. uh, across the rooftops of Watch Gotham <laughs> back home. Uh, let's let's get a fortune roll with your maneuver rating. Okay. A five. A five. Okay, mixed success here. So, um, Jackie, you are um, okay. I got it. Uh, oh <laughs> so, um, you you leap up to the rooftops you know you climb like a drain pipe uh and uh and leap up to the roof you are you are flowing across the rooftops of gotham city the january night air is 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 biting uh your into your face blowing past you it feels good it feels invigorating you're alive you are you are flowing uh across the, the rooftops, you're swinging from aerials, you are leaping these gaps between buildings, you feel the the crunch and the grit of the tar paper on on the roofs uh, as you as you run and you are uh, you are you are one with Gotham in oh gosh. this in this moment uh, as you leap and bound uh, and parkour your way across the rooftops back to the neighborhood where you and Harvey um, are staying and back to the, the, the building where where the two of you have this, uh, this apartment. And uh, <laughs> you take the last leap uh, over the last I was gap. waiting, 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 waiting for the other shoe to drop. Yeah, you take the last leap over the last gap between the adjacent building and uh, the building where you're in Harvey's apartment is, and you come short. You don't Shit. quite close the gap. And Can I reach out to, like, grab it? You reach out. Yeah, so you reach out to uh to grab the uh to grab the building and your fingers just graze against the sort of upper um like the lip this sort of like brick lip around the top of the roof and as you are falling your hand is caught uh and fantastic you look up uh and there is harvey uh, leaning over the side of the building, uh, holding you up uh, by one hand. Uh, and he looks down uh, and says, uh, Hey, welcome home. Uh, nice catch. Uh, can you pull me in, please? <laughs> and he pulls you, he, he, pulls you back up uh, and onto the rooftop next to him. Um, what domestic task was Harvey engaged in uh, before he grabbed wait, wait, wait. you out of the Are we on the roof the or did he like lean out the window and grab me? He, you are on, you are on the roof. Yeah, I, I think he I think he says uh, as he plunks you down. Uh, I saw you coming. Uh, you're getting pretty fast up on these rooftops. Thanks. What are you doing up here? 
I saw you through the window. Okay. And I you was waiting and... for her! You saw me through the window and then you just ran up flights of stairs to get onto the roof? Yeah. I wanted I to say me. hi to you. I got nothing for that. Um, the, the, um, thank God it's dark outside because no one needs to see how bright she's capable of blushing. That would be embarrassing. Uh, and yeah, he says, uh, yeah, hey. Uh, hey, and leans in and kisses you. Yeah, she, I mean, she leans into it too. Um, we we see can we? Uh, we see a brief beautiful splash panel of <laughs> the the two of you uh, on this moonlit rooftop silhouetted against the the uh, the night sky. Um, it's fucking freezing. Damn it! It's freaking freezing. Can we go back downstairs? Oh yeah, uh, we definitely should because um, I got bread in the you oven and that's bread. probably gonna burn. You got bread in the oven. Oh yeah, uh, and he he, you're like having this conversation as you go back towards. He opens the door uh, and you start going back down the the stairs. I, you're you're on the the apartment is on the top floor. Yeah. So it's just like one flight down. It's not it's not like a big deal to get back down to your your apartment. He's like, yeah, I uh, you know I thought I'd take up like sourdough baking. Uh, I saw like a tutorial online. Oh God. I have something very important to add. Yes. He's got a bunch of flour on one side and it's uh it's it's the it's the burn side. Oh um, yeah. so it's kinda he's got a whole half yeah, side. Yeah, right. Like as <laughs> as you as you come into the as he's he's telling you this, Jackie, and you like come into the lit hallway, uh yeah, you can see that he has he one side is just covered in, in flour. That means nothing to me. And and he's just gotten out of the shower and I'm the house impervious. still smells like a shower and I'm and, and his aftershave. <laughs> oh yeah, so the hair's got that nice little like bounce of just drying hair, but like yeah, still like, like clings and curls just right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're so sweaty from toiling in the kitchen. Yeah, so oh man, he's gonna have to take another shower. Oh, and you're here too, and you were just parkouring, so oh man, to save no. the water. Do you write this? Do you wanna write this little fan fiction? Y'all are right. <laughs> you four people are working on together. I'm typing as we speak. <laughs> Listen, right. we know we know what we know what you all came here for. No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, Harvey uh Harvey in this uh incredible state. Um is uh is going to uh you know open the door into the apartment usher you in uh he he opens the the apart the uh the oven uh you know peeks inside sees that the the loaf of bread is still doing okay i um yeah we're good okay yeah are you good though yeah like, great for real because you've just been stuck in every safe house we've managed to find. I don't know, Jack, I need a hobby or something. I can't go out anywhere. I, there's, there's a whole city out there and all I can do is move from yes. safe house to safe house and see my therapist. Yeah, I know it's not it's not great, but hopefully we'll figure something out so you're not stuck here making bread all the time. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to make it nice for us. I know, and I. I that's a, that's I, all. That's all I can do. No, I appreciate that. I do. I, that's not what I meant. I. You know, I, I don't want you to go stir crazy. Because ev everyone else seems to be going a little um, nuts right now. Ed's not doing great at all. Um, he he seemed bad when he was here before. It's um, pretty bad, yeah. Yeah, um, like he's he's normally uh, he's normally kind of nervous around me. I've noticed. Um, yeah, I think he's intimidated. To, today by it for was some a reason. whole other. Le oh, intimidated by, yeah, by me by this I face. Don't, I don't really get it. Um, she dusts like the flower off of the scarred side of his face because like you're not an intimidating person. 
just weird, just weird on it on his part, I guess. I'm a I'm a regular upstanding citizen these days. Oh yeah, I know you're making the sourdough and everything. Just to be clear, Ed is not um uh affected by the physical scarring. Um it is more <laughs> It's it's more the fact that this guy it's is a murderous just... gang leader. Yeah. Uh, my point my point by the way still stands. I don't know I don't know why this is intimidating. Uh, but, yeah. 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 Um yeah, they uh, he's not doing great and Ollie will barely say two words about what they're actually feeling. So That seems run of the mill for them. Yeah, but Ivy's not doing good either. We still don't know what happened to her. And knowing Ollie, it's directly connected to that. And so everyone is fa seemingly falling apart around me. But I'm in, a, in an apartment with you while you're making bread. And that's just something that's going to be the case. It's a weird position for me to be in. Sorry about your friends, Jackie. Yeah, so am I. I'm not really sure how to help in this situation hey you, you showed up uh, yeah. you let Ed hang out here yeah sorry about that way Probably way him... way too long yeah you way could have said long. something listen it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be right he's in a jam oh yeah I forget that you're actually a nice person um well half of me is she gives him just that that right look um, I got a job. That's great. That's good news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's going to go over to the couch and sit down. It's, uh, you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> it might require some not so great things, though. Uh oh, yeah, that kind of job. Wait, what kind of job did you think I was talking about? Um, I, I don't know, a, a pet store clerk? A pet store clerk? Me? Y you know, you'd spend the day around a, a bunch of fuzzy puppies. I've al I'm already kind of doing that. Okay, hey, come on. I like a golden retriever. You always have been. All right, I don't need any of that from you, okay? Uh, and he he's putting on like he's put, he crosses his arms. He's putting on like a big show of like mm -hmm. you know offense um, of, of like like mock offense. You're gonna get over it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, the kind of job that pays a little bit more than clerking would. All right, like, do I want to know how much more? Hundred thousand dollars. Oh, okay, so it's that kind of job. Yeah, like the kind that could get us, um, that house that you talked about earlier. Stability. Look, I, 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 oh boy, I'm gonna say it, but, and if I say it, then it's gonna be real. And, um, and then if it's a real thing, um, that I'm putting out there into the universe, then I, then then it, then I, if break it, um, and I really, I really, I've never wanted a house before. I never like thought that that was a thing that I could uh, get reasonably in my life. So I just never thought about it before. But then you said it, so now I want that. Now I'm thinking about it. It's all I've been able to think about all day. Is a house with a yard, a fence, multiple rooms. It's a, uh, it's a beautiful idea, Jackie. No, no, it's not. It's terrifying. It's a terrifying idea because what now? What if I don't get it? What what if we don't get it? Hey. We won't get it if we don't try. Okay. 
What if um, that trying entails me stealing stuff from the Riddler? Uh, and I think uh, Harvey has has sort of like uh, when he said that, you know, he he like takes you in his arms a little bit, uh, puts one hand on your shoulder, one kind of back along the small of your back, um, and you you see him just like arch an eyebrow at the mention of the Riddler. The 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 thing with taken though is pretty intense. Uh, um, apparently, yeah. Jackie, give me give me a roll at this point because I I want to see. Let's just say, I'm scared. Uh, you know, for for the audience's benefits, that you explain the job. Yeah. Right, and you can you can give us a summary of what it is you explained. To- Two ones. Wow. Is that a crit fail? That's extremely bad. Go. Uh, I'm okay, out. yeah. Two two ones. Yikes. I'm talking to my other boyfriend now, aren't I? So you... Um, you explain the... You explain the job. To, to Just give us a brief summary of what you explain to Harvey. Uh, it's a, if you look at this thing too long, apparently you just die, your head explodes. I wasn't very clear on it, but it sounds horrible and it could get out everywhere. Riddler has a bias, so we need to take it. That's what I heard, and I do not trust this kid that has this job that is dreaming about being a supervillain while using it. So, that, but the money, it's too hard to walk away from, and Ed convinced me he did this thing with his eyes, it made me feel bad, and now I'm here, and now I can't say no to this thing. And Jackie, as you're as you're wrapping this this explanation up, uh, like Harvey looks, his 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 face is low, uh, <laughs> and he he's just he's just sort of shaking his head. All right, I just, I mean, you say you're robbing the Riddler. That's yes. one thing. It is. Um, Tangling with some kind of uh, mind-destroying uh, picture, and he, he, this this kid just shows up in the yard, and you you take the job, Jackie. I just—it's way too dangerous. It's but way the money. too dangerous. It's but, not worth it. It's There's not. No, oh, are you kidding? We'll find another way. We'll find another okay. way to do it. So, but it could get, we could be set. If we take, if if we get this, we could get a place. Or yeah, we could, could leave the city. Killed. How is that different from any other time that I've done a job? It's oh. not. And that's the problem. I, you, Harvey, I don't want to do this. I mean, to be entirely honest, I'm tired of this. I'd love to go be a pet store clerk and have a boring job and come back to an apartment where you're making bread constantly. (laughs) But you just said yourself that we're stuck. And you can't stay here cooped up in forever. Eventually, the GCPD is going to find us. We have to do something. I have to do something. You do what you gotta do, Jackie. Uh, and you, um, he, you, I, he kind of uh, pulls back from you and uh, just heaves a. a big sigh he turns he turns around and you see his his shoulders slump um as he uh walks back uh into the kitchen to check on his bread she she gets up and she just like hugs him from behind really really tight i know you don't want me to do this and if we had other options i would agree with you but I, I can do this, and I have an exit strategy. You know me. I have a dozen different ways to get out of there if things go sideways. But I'm not doing anything tonight. 
And, you know, right now, I'd really like for you to show me how you baked the stupid sourdough bread. And, uh, and then the second thing I want to do is help you get the rest of that flour off of your face. And the third thing I want to do is just go to sleep in our bed, in our apartment, with you. Can we do that? He doesn't say anything. He turns around, not leaving your embrace, not leaving your arms wrapped around him. And he leans down and kisses your forehead. And we cut to later in the evening. Um, the uh, we're we're in the. I, is there a bedroom in this apartment, I or is it? A, I think we established think it, it was a studio. It's like a studio, so it's just further okay, in the cool. corner. So we're we're over in the in the corner where um, where your bed is, and you. Um, it's dark. Um, you know, we see just a little bit of uh, of street light uh, coming through the window, um, and Jackie, you are uh, you're asleep, um, and you you open your eyes and you you sort of roll over, and you see Harvey um, on the bed sitting upright facing away from you. You just see his back. Um, uh, I think uh, he's not wearing a shirt. Um, and you just see it sort of silhouetted in the darkness and the light from the street. And as you stir, you hear him say, you know you're going to do it, right? And that's where we're going to cut. Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter. And Instagram, uh, and that's my uh, website, andrevera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio, as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomus, Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, I also want to shout out my uh, itch, uh, itch.io slash andrevera.art, where you can get some games. Um, I have some uh, games that I've just made by myself, uh, as well as many collaborations with uh, my my dear, dear, wonderful uh, Super Dylan, uh, including uh, at, at the time of recording our newest uh, collaborative game, American Werewolf Biker Club, which is very fun. You should check it out. I have been Hopper. Regrettably, I will continue to be Hopper. Um, if you are uh, a masochist and is, uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, act uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, in addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under The Legend Tree, including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing flights of fandom. Um, we've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, and uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. 
Uh, as I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DeBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.